This video will demonstrate the CA SysView Line Command Assist feature introduced in release 14.1. This feature answers the question, how can I see what actions or navigations are available for the rows of data on a display? The Line Command Assist feature is available from all command displays that contain a Line Command field. This is the field at the beginning of each data row under the header of CMD. We will be using the job sum command to demo this feature. Line command assist is launched using the question mark line command character. The line command assist display shows the list of line commands that are available for the rows of data on the job sum command as indicated by the title line. The line commands are organized by type. Act identifies line commands that take some sort of action against the selected row. Nav identifies line commands that navigate to a different display. You might think of these as a drill down or zoom. The line CMD field is the set of characters that you could type on the line command field on the job sum display. You may choose to learn the common line commands and issue them directly. Each line command has a short description. We will cover the cursor field column in a follow up video. The information area of the display shows some context information. The first line shows the header from the job sum detail display. And the second line shows the row where the line command will be executed. The next set of lines in the information area shows the name of the command, which in our demo case is the job sum command. The screen field shows that we are on the detail screen of job sum. The following field shows the value of the cursor line command profile variable for this command. It is currently set to the line command assist character. The cursor line command is the command that will be executed when you hit enter on a blank line command field. We will demo this in a minute. Below, you will see the LC assist specific line commands. For example, entering select on any of the line CMDs listed will execute that line command on a previous display. List file, as the description indicates, will display our jobs output datasets. We are now on the SysView list file display, which shows the jobs output datasets. Let's PF3 out of this command to get back to our job sum display. If you recall, our default cursor line command for job sum was defined as a question mark, which is our line command assist character. Since our cursor is on the line command field, if we simply hit enter, it will execute the question mark. To change the default cursor line command, use the set command on any of the line commands listed on the LC assist panel. For example, let's set list file to be the default cursor line command. Notice the confirmation message asking us if we want to make list file our new cursor line command. The cursor line command field now shows list file as our new cursor line command. Let's PF3 out of the line command assist. Now if we place our cursor in the line command field and hit enter, we will be taken directly into the list file command. Let's PF3 out of the list file and go back to job sum. Now we will go back into the line command assist by using the question mark. The last item that we will demonstrate is the help command. If you want to see a more verbose description of a line command, simply type help and hit enter. Let's get additional help for the release line command. Line command assist will execute the help for job sum and place you at the location of the requested line command. That concludes our demonstration of the line command assist feature. Remember, you can type any of the line commands directly, but you're always just one question mark away from getting some assistance when you need it. 